In this video, we will be looking at the Scale-Up product and how the CX CAS can be used to efficiently solve problems involving this concept. Okay, to start, we're gonna look at the first example, which is finding the angle between the vectors 3i plus 7j minus 2k and 2i minus 2j plus 3k, correct to the nearest minute. Okay, so to get the, to find the angle between two vectors, use the formula cos theta equals a dot b divided by the product of the magnitudes of a and b, as shown here, as well as in the diagram there. So the first vector, we're gonna define it as a, control equal, and then control, um, control open a square bracket. So to type in a vector, we use square brackets separated by commas. So the components of vector A are three comma seven comma negative two, press enter, and there is A. And for vector B, we press B, control equals, and control template, sorry, and then control open bracket, and we're gonna go two comma negative two comma three, enter. Okay, so we've now defined our vectors, and now let's use the, let's get the fraction that we will have to inverse cos eventually. So control and divide. To get the dot product of two vectors, we'll have to go to menu, seven for matrix and vectors, press up or C for vectors, press enter, and then the dot product is number three. So dot product of A comma B, that's the numerator, divided by the product of the magnitudes. Now, the magnitude of a vector can be gotten via something called norm. To get norm, you have to press menu, seven for matrix and vectors, seven for norms, and one for norm. We simply have to get norm A, close bracket, that's the magnitude of vector A, multiplied by, again, the magnitude of vector B, which is menu, seven, seven, one. Norm of B, press enter, and there we go. That is the value of cos theta. So to get the angle, we're gonna to have to inverse cos this. To get inverse cos, press trig, press right down inverse cos, enter, and simply copy and paste the previous line. Press up, press enter, which copies it into the bracket, close the bracket, and now to get the nearest minute, we have to press the book or the catalog and scroll down after pressing D to find DMS. So scroll down until we get DMS, which is here. A quicker way to get to DMS is to press E and then press up a couple of times. So no, once you're at DMS, press enter and then press control enter to approximate. There we go. So the angle between the two given vectors, correct to the nearest minute, is 115 degrees and 33 minutes. So 44 is more than 30. Therefore, it rounds up 32 minutes to 33 minutes. Okay, moving on to the second example. If A is equal to negative 2i minus j plus 3k, and B is equal to negative mi plus j plus 2k, where m is a real number, find the value of m if the vector A minus B is perpendicular to B. So how to find out if two vectors are perpendicular to each other? So yeah, we've got vector V in blue and vector W which is perpendicular to that in red. In order for two vectors to be perpendicular, if V and W are perpendicular to each other, then this implies that the dot product of V and W is exactly equal to zero. So using this fact, we're gonna go back to our CAS and now define new vectors. So A and then control template to define, control open bracket, and the, the vector is negative 2i and then negative j, which is negative one, comma, three. There's vector A done. Notice how we defined vector A on top of the previously defined vector A. So that is possible definitely to be doing. It simply rewrites the previous definition of A. So now going to vector B, B control template, which is defined, and control open bracket, now let's type in vector B, which is negative mi, and then j, which is simply one, and 2k, which is two. Press enter, now we've defined vector A and B. 
So we want A minus B to be perpendicular to B. So let's get the dot product of A minus B and B. So first things first, we can simply find what A minus B is, A minus B, which is this vector over here, M minus 2i minus 2j plus k. So going back to the dot product, menu 7 for matrix and vector, C for vector, and then 3 for dot product. So the two vectors we want to dot product are A minus B, and the other vector is simply B. Press enter, and there we go. 2m minus m squared is the dot product of those two vectors. So to solve that, to get the value of m, we'll go to menu, 3, 1, press up, enter, equals 0, comma, m. There we are. So the values of m that allow a and b to be perpendicular to each other are m equals 0 and m equals 2. It's always a good idea when getting two solutions to just double check in the original question that both are valid. So we had m equals 0 and m equals 2. Well, m equals 0 just gets rid of the i component of, of b, which is fine because we have j plus 2k, and then we have a having all three components, and m equals 2 will now make b have all three components. So both answers for m are valid. So moving on to the final example, in this example, we'd like to determine the value of m such that the three vectors, a equals i plus 3j minus k, the vector b equals negative i minus 4j plus 2k, and c equals 2i minus 6j plus mk, we want to find the value of m such that these three vectors are linearly dependent. Now, one very less known theorem is that in order for two vectors or two two-dimensional vectors to be linearly dependent, the determinant of the matrix containing their components would equal zero. Now, whilst this theorem is relating to simply two-dimensional vectors, you can also expand it to three-dimensional vectors. In other words, three vectors of three dimensions each. We'll simply need a three-by-three three matrix and the determinant. So to get a matrix going, I'm simply going to press the template button again and scroll until we get to the three by three matrix there. Press enter, the CAS now asks us how many rows and how many columns. We want three and three each, so the default is okay. Press okay, and now we simply have to type in all these individual numbers. So one, tab, three, tab, negative one, and then press tab again, negative one, tab, negative four, tab two, and finally the last vector, two, tab, negative six, tab, sorry, going back, negative six, and finally tab M, enter. So we've now made up our determinant full of the coefficients or the components. So to get determinant, we're gonna press menu, seven for matrix and vector, and three for determinant. So DET stands for determinant. Press up, which will highlight the matrix, press enter and enter. So we get the determinant being negative bracket m minus 10. So m solving for m, menu 3, 1. To be linearly dependent, the determinant must equal 0. So copying and pasting the determinant, making it equal 0, comma m, solving for m, and there we go. We get m is equal to 10. So at this stage, you can, of course, plug in m equals 10 back into the back into the vector c and show that the vectors are certainly linearly dependent.